Hello everyone, Nisar here. Uh, so today's interview question is that what is decorators in Python? So uh, while uh, you know doing some codings, you might have came across this word called as decorators, or somewhere might have you have read, read about this term decorators. So what exactly is decorators in Python? So let me just take you an example and let's see what exactly is a decorator as such. So simply I'll just create one function. I'll call this to be my main one, simple, okay? So this function doesn't take any input and the work is simply print the output, some, some printing. So I'll say, hello, everyone, okay? Now, if I call this function, you know what is going to happen. That because we have written this print hello everyone and I'm calling this function, this hello everyone is going to get executed, right? Okay, that's good. If I just write some more things inside of it, let's say, my name is Nasser. And if I run this again, then you would, and again, if I, if I call this function, you know what's going to happen. It's just going to print both the statements. My name is Nasser and hello everyone. Let's say I define a, another function like this. Uh, let the function name is Nisarg, okay? And this Nisarg function does the same thing. It has this printing ability, I'll say, let's say, I am Nisarg. So this Nisarg function that I created has the ability or it has been constructed in such a way that it should print out I am Nisarg. So when I call this function Nisarg, Simply, it will just print I am Nissan. The question is, can we put this function inside this main function? What I mean to say that when I am calling this main function, this Nisarg function should automatically get called. Is there any way? The answer is yes, there is a way. How? Let's see. So I'll simply copy this function over here like this. Okay. And we already have this Nisarg function. So what I'll say that simply, I'll make this function as the function which is taking input as one of the function, okay? So this FUNC over here is defining that it's an input to your my main function. So this is representing one of the function which is coming as the input. And simply, if I do like this, what does it mean? That whatever it function is, whatever that function is, you simply call that function. You know what is the meaning of call that function? Call that function means execute that function. So if I run this, and now if I call this main function, and what does this function take as an input? It takes another function as an input. So I have already built this function called Nisarg. If I put this function Nisarg over here like this, so what is going to happen if I run this? If I run this, you see, First thing I got, I am Nisarg, my name is Nisarg, and then hello everyone. What exactly has happened? So what happened? First thing, I called my main function. I called my main func. So the moment I call my main function, all the lines of code which is being written inside the main function is going to get executed. And this main function has been constructed in such a way that it is taking an input as one of the functions. And inside this main function only, whatever function that I am inputting is getting called as well. So what is happening? I am putting this Nisarg function over here and the Nisarg function is getting called as well. So what is the output when I call this Nisarg function? Simply, I am Nisarg. So from this, you are getting the output as I am Nisarg. From this, you are getting the output as my name is Nisarg. And from this, you are getting the output as hello everyone, right? Similar thing can be achieved directly using something called as decorators and it can be achieved like in one or two lines of code. Simply, simply, you know what your sub function is, this function. And you know where you have placed this sub, sub function, you have placed this sub, sub function inside this main function over here like this. So if I simply come up and say at the rate, my main func 
And if I simply run this, you'll see what will happen. It's going to execute the similar thing that I have done over here and we have achieved it. What it means that whatever the main function you have created, it is going to run that function. And you know that this function that we have created manually is going to get inputted to your main function. And that function is getting called. That's, that's the reason we are getting all these results. So a decorator is a short form of doing the same thing means calling a function inside a function in a more short and precise way. Okay. Thank you.